Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we'll be talking about when and what to upgrade your ATM and changes in the industry. Always remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. So point number one, when you start out, you gotta know, well, how long is the ATM gonna last, Phil? You know what, I hear it lasts a long time, but I don't really understand it. Now, truth be told, ATMs usually last about 15 years. So that's a long time. You should be able to get your money back within one or two years, sometimes a lot sooner, sometimes depending on location, it takes a little longer. But for the most part, you're gonna get your money back within 18 months almost every time. And then how long does the ATM last? Well, it lasts about 15 years. Well, wow, that's a long time. I should be able to operate that ATM for a long time, make my money back and continually have cash flow. Yes, that's true. That's why the ATM business is a good business. There's not a lot that you have to put into the ATM, but sometimes technology changes and then we have to upgrade. Point number two, software upgrades. A lot of the times, every month, every, it seems like every month, sometimes it's every two weeks, sometimes it's every, every other month, but the manufacturers, they come out with software upgrades. Most of these software upgrades are free, to, free from your processor, from your ISO, that's us. We give you this upgrades for free. It's highly recommended that, that you guys upgrade, and what we always t tell everybody is upgrade twice a year, usually in January, again in June and July. That'll give you the latest, greatest software that's, that'll fix any kind of bugs that you're experiencing on your ATMs. When you're having an issue and you talk to the manufacturer, the first thing they're gonna ask you is, what software version are you on? Then you'll tell them. They'll say, oh, that's way outdated. That's not gonna work. You need to have the latest grace. And you say, well, how do I do that? What do I do? And you have to talk to your provider, your ISO, your processor. They'll help you get the necessary information so you can provide, so you can get that upgrade. Now you got an upgrade. Now you're still ex experiencing the same problem. Now you call your ISO or your, the manufacturer and then they'll tell you how to fix that. But they're always gonna go to that, what's the latest, greatest software? And you're gonna have to have that. And what, from my experience, it's better to have it and upgrade it as you go a couple times a year, make it a necessary point to hit all your ATMs and have that latest software because that'll avoid any and almost all the challenges you could have. So if you do have some challenges, you don't have to waste your time getting that upgrade in place so you can now fix the problem. You avoid that by just keeping your ATM in the latest, greatest software. Point number three, changes in the industry. Phil, what's that? I, 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 I'm just getting into the game. I don't understand what you're talking about. Here's what it is. We went from single desk, that's when we enter in the Mac encryption keys, we went from single desk to, to double desk, and then we went to triple desk compliance. So when we went to triple desk compliant, a lot of the ATMs, they didn't have the heart, they didn't have the memory to do that. So we had to buy memory sticks and put them into the ATM. That eliminated some of the ATMs on the street because they, were, they didn't, the computer wasn't big enough. Then we switched again, and we went to PCI compliant. All right, so again, some of, the, some of the ATMs didn't have enough memory. You were faced with a decision. Do I want to upgrade or do I want to let my ATM go? Then we went to EMV. Some of the ATMs, they weren't EMV compatible and they couldn't be upgraded. They had to come up with a whole new motherboard, whole new uh, chip reader, the card, and a screen. So we had to spend money, sometimes as much as $1,000 on that ATM. So every once in a while, the ATM it has these changes, either Visa or MasterCard implement them. Sometimes the manufacturer decides, you know what, it's end of life. Things happen and you have to update your ATM. So, will your ATM last 15 years? Absolutely, but you might have to pay along the way a couple times to keep it up in compliance, whatever those latest, greatest compliances are. Point number four, you'll be faced. Do I, do I upgrade? Do I not? From what I see most of the time, just so you guys know, is every time there's an upgrade, it's about three to four years, there's an upgrade. It's usually about a $200 upgrade, and then, but the longer it goes, or the more you get. If you first first upgrade, maybe it's $200, and that's four years. Then another four years, maybe it's another $200. That's eight years, but we get to 12 years. Now we get in that, you know what, you might have to spend, and, and I'm just going back what happened before, you might have to spend $800, $1,000. So, as you get later in the game, you might want to think about when's my exit strategy with this, with this ATM, what do I do? And that brings us to point number five. In my experience, it's always best to have a rotation, a 
about every five years, start dumping your ATMs or selling them off. You know what, there's a lot of chats out there, you'll see ATMs for sale all the time. If you're new to the game, I don't recommend you buy any used ATMs, but if you're a seasoned player, you know what, you can you can start to wait. You know what, we just had an upgrade, I could probably get another three to four years out of this new one, and what does that look like? Can I buy used, can I put it on my route? And then, you know what, I can gradually work it out. So, sometimes you wanna save money, and you're like, I'll gamble a little, and other times you get caught, what I would say with your pants down, and you get caught behind the eight ball, now you invested in an ATM that, you know what, now you have to reinvest. So it's all in what you want to do, but the way I look at it, let's put a $2,500 price tag. Just figure every year you lose about $500 of depreciation value in your ATM, and then you, you might have to be faced with an upgrade somewhere down the line. So take that in consideration. So put a, put a little money aside to plan for upgrades and things like that because you, you will have to upgrade your ATM if you're in the business for a long time. But for the most part, the ATM business, there's not a lot of depreciation, and it's a great business to get in. So always remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. So if you're interested in starting up your own ATM business, I want to invite you to our free training entitled, How to Set Up Your Own ATM Business Before You Buy Your First ATM. So you'll start off the business the right way and avoid costly mistakes along the way. Where you'll discover how the ATM business works and income that you could possibly make explained in detail, how to set up an ATM business and what category you need to register it under, how to open up a business bank account for your ATM business, plus I will share with you how to talk to banks professionally so you feel confident and prepared when dealing with them. Others charge for this training, but I'm going to give it to you absolutely free for limited time only, so click the link down below. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page, where we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys very much.